Hey guys, I'm Ben and welcome back to my Sims 4 rebuild series where I rebuild every lot in the Sims 4 base game and potentially later packs. So last time we did a tour of the Goth House and their makeover, but today we're focusing on the pancakes. We love, we all love her, we all hate her, it's Liza and cousin Bob and their little toddler Iggy. And here's their bio. So just who are Bob and Liza Pancakes? How did two vastly different Sims get into a relationship? And how did they become close enough to have a child? Rumors say they had a child to save the marriage, but is that really the truth? Just what do Bob and Eliza really feel about each other? And most importantly, why is Eliza hated so much by everyone else? I mean, seriously though, why does everyone hate her? Like, is she like, I think it's just because she's like supposed to be like an annoying townie. But let's take a look at everyone here. So we have Bob, you know, I kept like, like his shirt and stuff because trans rights, so yeah. And I also, I also gave him this cute hat because it makes sense. Um, there's these outfits I gave him. And I was sort of inspired by the newbies because they're obviously the newbies. Like, like this is the Sims 4 version of the newbies without creating the actual newbies. And it makes sense, you know, I even gave her like the Betty newbie hair, you know, like she has that, she has a fancier, like more upscale look, but she's still like a stay at home mom because I, I don't think it would be very like wise to keep Iggy at home all the time by himself, but you know, I know there's daycare and stuff, but you know, but yeah, I, oh, I see the Eliza as sort of this like upper class type of girl, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's it for their for the household. I guess I'll talk about them more as I go through their house here. But yeah, let's start. So I haven't done these videos in a while, but I do want to start doing them more just because I'm stuck at home due to worldwide circumstances. So yeah, like this is as good as time as any to really get into doing videos and stuff, uploading them, and like creating sort of a sense of normal normalcy for myself. So we here we are at P. Karth Rebuild. So, all right, let's start with our, our overview of the outside. And as you can see, they are heavily inspired by the original Nubia household. But like they have sort of the same structure and even the same color. I was considering creating the newbies, but I also, but with university and the pleasants coming out, I decided to not. I decided to not create the newbies so that I could put Dustin in, in, in the game. But yeah, so this is their house inspired by the original newbies. These are the new newbies. If that's really like what you call them, I guess. But it's a very like I don't know what sort of style it is, like country ranch or something. I don't know. But yeah, we walk into here and we see this open living. Okay, I should probably be turning off all of, like the sounds because I don't want to get copyrighted. Like, okay, turn off. No. We're not listening to any music that could potentially copyright me. No music allowed. Anyways, so here we are in our room here. And we see these pictures here of Eliza and Bob and their son Iggy. So hard to take pictures of like toddlers and stuff because I have base game and not like the later packs like Get to Work, which has like actual photography and stuff. Um, but I also made sure to have pictures of pancakes because it's their trademark. So I created this cute little dancing area for Iggy because I feel like Iggy would probably be, be into like dancing and stuff. I have this nice little like like, like living room area uh, with like TV. And this place is generally meant to just be for Eliza like watching sports because I imagine Eliza is just sports for some reason. 
And so here we have the second like, nice country style from kitchen. The boobs. And with uh, Tragic Con painting, Tabernet, which was in the original Nubia household. I really like the way Darvin's the brick wall looks Lolo here, Chango. too. Huh? Like, I all just, I wanted to give Franca. it a very quaint vibe. Chris Larkin. So we have this counter Axel. table, like, Skiba this glash. island. <laughs> and then we have the dining table here baby. with the, the, the Iggy's chair. <laughs> and we have the trans rights flag, because as they're definitely... Trans rights supporters. Um, let's see. We have like pictures here of Iggy sleeping and Bob just painting and cooking and stuff. I figure Bob would probably be into like arts and crafts, I guess. I don't know. But they say he's like super lazy, but I mean, he has have like a couple hobbies, you know? Uh, here. Here we have Elias pancakes eating. I was gonna have her eat pancakes, but uh, like I just take pictures of like whatever they're doing. So, you know. So, let me go into their bedroom. We have this this nice room here. We have their bed and a nice fireplace, you know. Oh, and adds to the appearance of the house too, which I really like. And then we have this like desk area. We have the the wardrobe with the pictures. We have Eliza like working out and then Bob spending time with Iggy. Uh, we also have like sports posters and stuff, and then I gave Iggy his own like private little room here. Divided by the screen, and because they don't have like another bedroom for him, and then I feel like they probably move to like a better home eventually. But I don't know. This is just a nice house. I feel like they would live in. Now as for the bathroom here, here we have this like a like, very small cozy bathroom. I had to play test it because I was gonna have a shelf here, but I had to take. Get rid of it so that people can take a bath and stuff which is why i always play test stuff and like i always play test my houses so i can add like the pictures in it and make sure everything's functional which i mean everyone does right uh let's see give bob privacy but yeah i was thinking of doing like more speed builds i mean everyone does that you know and i feel like it's a good idea to just do tours because they're kind of cool we have the backyard, we even have like the little like lantern and or like the oil lamp that was in the original game. I even have the fountain with the two flamingos and an art easel and a grill and it's all pretty nice and cozy for them. Uh, so the last thing I want to show you is out in the back we have a monkey, we have, have monkey bars here and my own on sandbox for Iggy to play in. I just put a bunch of toys in, you know, I terraformed the land a bit so it would look a bit realistic, but yeah. My main concern with this is just the fact that like it looks weird when you go on the map because if you saw at the beginning of the video, like you don't see the sand in the box. You just see like it being a green box and it's, it's a bit weird, but I don't know. Like I'm not super experienced at building, but I mean like I do like the houses I build. I think they're good. You know, I just I try to spend like, as much time as I can, but not like too much time. No, what I say? No music. I also put this little violin here. I think this is supposed to be like like once he grows up, you know, I feel like they definitely have a plan for him in mind. But yeah, I feel like this is a good a build from to me I, I i like the build i think it's good it's you know makes for kind of a short video because i don't really have that much to show off but i like it i think it's good so i feel like the only thing can she say it's not make pancakes uh okay when you make pancakes i feel like that's the only way to really end off the video is with them eating pancakes maybe i should just look let's just have a look at some of this stuff you know like, you can take a good look at these pictures here, and I really like them. So, if you were, like, if you want to download this house, like, I have on the gallery, I'll put it on my, like, base game and save file once I finish that. But, yeah, you don't need to worry about, like, custom content or anything. Like, if you want, like, this picture, then you'll have to download that from somewhere. But... In general, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Like that's the only custom content thing I have, of like the 
like just make sure like do like the checkbox and stuff and everything so you can see it but in general you should do both of those and everything like i use the free stuff and uh, just the game okay that's enough why is he sad Bob, jeez. Like, I'm just trying to finish Spino? off this episode here, but <laughs> yeah, I do bros. like the sort of look I have here. I like the quaint kitchen here. I'm proud of that. Whoa! Bob, seriously, ew. Oberoi! Janelle! I don't know why you married him, but whatever. He seems nice, at least. Are not gonna sit down or anything? This is gonna make for a very awkward ending to the video, but. Oh, can I game? <laughs> I'll move. Huh? Who lacks Zerf? Zombas! <laughs> and Fabi Frenoy. Ibana Ishkawanj. Feel the. Well, I guess this is it for this video. Um, I hope I'm, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the the pancake household, otherwise known as the new newbies. And I hope to see you guys next time when we tour the BFF household. Let's get the thumbnail ready and. Hope to see you then.